I want to know what the potential energy of the third one is at that point. So I would go KQ1, Q2 over this. And you would get what answer? Well, when you do this and when you do that, I assure you, you're going to get 420 joules. OK? Because look, Q is factorable, right? You can factor it out. Right? But this and this is the total potential at that point created by the, uh, the first two. So this is V total. So you're going to get the same answer. 420 joules. It's just a different way of thinking about it. And then you ask yourself, OK, if the potential energy there is 420 joules, what's the potential energy that it has at infinity? Zero. Right? So if the potential energy at infinity is zero, and if the potential energy at that point is 420 joules, uh, somebody's going to have to raise that potential energy, right? If, if something is increasing in potential energy, it doesn't want to do it by itself. You have to exert the force. So you're going to have to raise it to that potential energy. So that means I'm going to have to do positive work. OK? So the work is uh, equal to uh, 420 joules. So there's two ways of uh, answering if the work is positive or negative. Okay, let me summarize it and then we're done. If the charge is negative, it likes to go towards higher potential. So if the infinity has higher potential than that point, it likes to stay at infinity. So you're going to have to drag it. If the charge was positive, okay, where did the chalk go? If the, if the charge was positive, then it would like to go towards lower potential. So you would have to do negative work. That means you have to push the other way. Negative work means that. You're going to have to hold it back so that it, it comes at constant velocity, you see. So, um, the other way of looking at it is to think of the, once it's there, what is its potential energy? And if the potential energy that it has is positive, then you argue positive charges don't want to move towards higher potential energy. They like to stay at lower potential energy. So you're going to have to put work, OK? Uh, if it's, um, so positive charges like to stay uh, at lower potential energy, and negative charges like to go towards higher potential energy, you see? So you could either think of it in terms of potential or potential energy. Okay, so look at that problem over and over again. This problem is uh, quite long, but it has different parts. But each part of that problem is, is pretty deep in and of itself. So think about it. Think about those ellipses that I drew. Think about what I just talked about, uh, negative charges liking to go towards uh, um, uh, higher potential energy and positive charges liking to go towards negative. Um, OK, now let's